A small Ithaca business is teaming up with a Syracuse manufacturer on a cutting-edge product that the company say could create 600 new jobs in the years to come. Dan Cummings says the idea was hatched in the labs of Cornell University and could someday soon show itself in your kitchen. At quick glance, you can't tell that most of this cabinet is not real wood. It's a biocomposite panel produced not from trees, but from the fiber of field crops like flax and sorghum. Pat Govang's company, E2E Materials, spent two and a half years developing what it calls a safer, superior, environmentally friendly alternative to engineered wood products. We get the strength of a piece of wood out of a quarter inch thin piece of our material. So we use a technology called lightweight composite technology where we put a recycled paper product in between two layers of our product and we get a very strong, robust building material that is superior to wood. E2E Materials is now in partnership with Syracuse-based CabFab, the custom cabinet maker, to bring the product to market. Prototypes are now on display in the CabFab showroom on Burnett Avenue. Well, that's the showroom, but this will be the showpiece, the new center of excellence here in Syracuse. When it opens this fall, will give the new E2E product a prominent position. Three kitchens in the COE will feature cabinets made from the biocomposite panel. And in the hallways, the same material will be used for benches. But it's also a, a wonderful cradle-to-grave green option. So it's, uh, you know, when we talk to customers, more and more customers are coming to us looking for these kinds of options for both residential and commercial. And the production and we costs? We can actually compete with the product made here in New York State with products that Walmart sells today that are made in China. This is the general look that we're When production is ramped up, Govang says his Ithaca company will employ 135 people. In Syracuse, Dan Cummings, News Channel 9. The research at Cornell that led to the biocomposite panels was funded entirely by state grant money, nearly half a million dollars from the NYSERDA and the NYSTAR agencies. To learn more, at nine, go to 9WSYR.com and we'll link you to the websites for CabFab and E2E.